session management in Next.js. Also a topic that is somewhat tricky, especially when you're kind of just starting out with managing sessions and authentication and all that stuff. So this video is going to kind of play a little bit off of my last video that I covered authentication and authorization, but let's kind of discuss session management and how that is often handled in Next.js, especially now considering server components and all that totally not confusing stuff. So session management, it involves tracking and managing the user's interaction with the application over time, ensuring their authenticated state is preserved across different parts of your app. So basically, it allows the user to log in, but then as they access other areas of your application, they don't have to like continuously keep logging in and getting authenticated. It just allows them to log in once and then they have an active session at that point. And as long as they have an active session, they can navigate around the application and they don't need to continue to keep logging in as that would just be very poor UX. And speaking of poor UX, this is a website that demonstrates pretty much the worst UX possible. So let me actually move this down just a touch for you. This website is called userinyourface.com. And if you haven't seen this website, I highly recommend just playing around with it. I know this is like a little bit of a, an aside to session management, but I do think it's worth kind of showing just a couple of a really bad user experience practices. So it's like, hey, please click here to go to the next page where it has like it looks like click is the link or go is the link or next page is the link or clicking on no would go, but it's actually clicking here. And then here it's like this count up timer with like this site uses cookies. Is that a problem for you? And it's like, no, not really. Yes. Like just terrible as a pop up over here. When you go to type in like a password, it just stays grayed out and it continues on beyond choose a password. And it's like, as these things are rotating through, so it looks like you have steps, but you really don't. And then instead of clicking next right here as cancel right in the middle and reset over to the right, and you click cancel and it says, are you sure? Yes, cancel. So it's like nothing makes sense on this website. So if you want to just have some fun kind of playing around with terrible UX, go ahead and check this website out. And I'm of course not affiliated anyway with really anything. So do what you want. I don't really care, but we don't want to have like terrible user experience similar to that website. We wouldn't want to have the user to continuously repeat logins as they just try to use your application. So in Next.js, they basically cover kind of two main ways session management is done. So one of them is cookie based sessions. So cookie-based sessions manage user data by storing encrypted session information directly in browser cookies. So when a user logs in, this encrypted data is stored in a cookie and then each subsequent server request includes this cookie, minimizing the need for repeated server queries and enhancing client-side efficiency. So basically, a user logs in, you set an encrypted cookie in the browser, and then you can use this cookie to make requests and to maintain that authenticated state throughout that user session. Now here it says you have to be careful with cookies and make sure that you're encrypting data and being careful with different security measures since you do store that cookie in the browser. And then it says also cookies are limited in size, but there are techniques to kind of get around that. Now here is an example that they show of like setting a cookie they basically use cookies from next headers here, and then you can set the cookie here. Although depending on what framework you use for like logging in, logging out, assuming you use some sort of framework for that and you're not rolling it yourself, which you might be, if you do it yourself, it might look like this. If you're using a framework, you might use some kind of helper package. That is how you might do things with cookies. And then you could get that cookie in a server component here and then ensure that they do have some encrypted session data. Now, instead of cookie-based sessions, you could also use a database sessions where session management involves storing session data on the server with the user's 
browser only receiving a session ID. This ID references the session data stored server side without containing the data itself. This method enhances security as it keeps sensitive session data away from the client side environment, preventing certain security malpractices. And it says, however, this approach has trade-offs. It can increase performance overhead due to the need for database lookups. And strategies like session data caching can help mitigate this. Additionally, reliant on the database means that session management is as reliable as the database's performance and availability. And then they kind of show a couple of examples of how this might be done here as well. So which, which one do you choose? Well, in this section, they mentioned that deciding between cookie-based and database sessions in Next.js depends on your application needs. Cookie-based is simpler and it suits smaller applications with lower server load, but may offer less security or you need to be a little bit more careful about security. Whereas database sessions, while more complex, might provide better security and scalability. And then here it says, when using different authentication solutions, it's important to make sure that you understand how they are managing the sessions and that they're following security best practices. I tend to use Supabase a lot. And with Supabase, it says right here in their docs that when using Superbase with server-side languages and frameworks, such as Next.js, it is important con to configure Superbase client to use cookies for storing user sessions. So Superbase does indeed use cookies. Now, I, I trust that Superbase is following best practices when it comes to security, but it it's still important to understand kind of what they're using. If we look at Superbase creating a client for like on the server here, you can kind of see how Superbase has you managing cookies. So if we go to like a server component here, within the server component, you need to provide the method to get a stored cookie from your cookie store, which is going to get your active session that is going on because you're using cookies. And same thing in like middleware. Middleware is going to allow you to set get and remove cookies for your session management and the same can be said for like using server actions and different things like that but you can dive into this a little bit more but Superbase, you can see in their docs here that they do use cookie based session management so a session is basically the state a user is in like whether they are authenticated or not and you can manage that session state with cookie based sessions which you know has its pros and cons it's a little bit easier to do but you also have to make sure that you're encrypting things properly so you don't run into security risks and then you also have database session management which you know might be a little bit more scalable and secure but it might also be a little bit more complex and there might be performance trade-offs of doing that as well so like with most things in programming there's often no single best solution for everybody, and it really comes down to your use cases, what you're comfortable with. Personally, I like using Superbase, so I kind of default opt-in to cookie-based session management with Superbase, but it is important to kind of understand how some of this works. So hopefully that kind of helps you out and gives you a good idea of how sessions are managed in Next.js, and I'll see you in that next one.